Hello everyone, welcome to LEGO Multiverse Studios, and today we are doing If It Were a Lego Set, Season 4, Episode 5. It is a Ninjago Prime Empire build, and it wasn't really anything from the TV show, I just made it myself, and it's like a little shop uh, in the video game, Prime Empire. It has three minifigures, it uh, has the building and also this little side build, it's like a little uh, vehicle, but uh, I'll show you, and I hope you like it! And also, if you have seen my other uh, videos recently, I have changed uh, to showing minifigures with having a stand. Um, instead of me just showing them all lined up, I have a stand now. So that's just a tiny difference that I thought I'd tell you because I'm just going to be doing it this way the rest of the series. Anyways, uh, so I this is the only character I put in from the actual Ninjago series. His name is Scott, and he's supposed to be a person who was stuck in the video game for 30 years. And I didn't change anything about the minifigure. I really like his outfit. It's really cool. I love this piece, this uh, hood and uh, cap piece. I love it. Um, and uh, as you can see, it also has like a little lightning bolt on it. And I just like that it's two different colors. And yeah, it looks really good. And then he also has his face. And it's uh, actually very common in Jago expression. Like only these expressions come in in Jago sets. Um, and uh, you can also see like uh, he has a different skin tone because it's supposed to be like a video game avatar. As you can see, this is like little triangles on it, I guess. I don't know. He also has this other face where he has a little mask on. Um, and he, I guess he's running away um, <laughs> from something. But uh, to the torso, it looks really good. It has like the two dragons on it. And it's a really cool vest with the like little triangles on it still. And it also has a dragon on the back and the lightning bolt too. It looks awesome. I also gave him an accessory. I took the uh, sticker from the Prime Empire Lego sets from 2020 and put it on a clear piece. And it looks like... Uh, someone is playing a video game on their phone. <laughs> so I thought that I'd include that. Um, but actually, surprisingly, the sticker uh, goes on pretty well. Uh, like, it's just the perfect size for it. The only thing is that it's kind of starting to peel off. That's a little annoying, but that's because I took the sticker off of another thing, I think. Anyways, down to the legs. They're really cool. It has, like, these little things on its knees. And it has, like, the triangles on there. The belt looks... It looks really awesome. I like it. So I thought I'd include him in the set since he is in the Prime Empire and Jago season, and also because it's just an awesome minifigure. The next minifigure I have is actually a custom character that I made, and her name is Tracy. She's supposed to be a uh, NPC in Prime Empire, and literally her whole job is just that random person walking around in the background of the video game, and and then she tries to be more than who like she was programmed to be. But anyways, I used the Sweet Mayhem hairpiece from the Lego movie. It's really wiggly, and since it's squishy, I used it a lot, and then it ripped. Like, it just ripped. So, that's unfortunate. Like, literally right before I made this video, I was already, like, peeling off, and then once I picked it up, this little piece on the edge fell off. But luckily, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, look at my Harumi hairpiece. Just look at that. I mean, I'm barely even pulling on it, but I mean, like, look how much that could easily fall off. There's also a little rip in the back there, too. Like, if you look closer, it's a little rip there, and there, and there. <laughs> but back to the minifigure, I also used a face that isn't commonly used, because I like using faces that aren't that commonly used if I make original characters, because I like to give them, like, a different look than most other characters. So this one came out... I actually don't know when, um, but it, I got it at the Lego store when you can make your own minifigure, so I got that face then. And uh, she is smiling really brightly, and uh, she has freckles, and I think she also has like purple lipstick, and then once you turn the face around, she has sunglasses and she's really upset or something. Um, and it looks really cool. Uh, then going actually back to the hair, I picked it a because it's just a really fun color and Prime Empire like it just has a bunch of wacky colors so I thought it'd be just kind of fun to have this hair piece and uh, I mean it looks really cool like it shines can like kind of different colors it looks really cool down to the torso I used Jay's torso from the Prime Empire except I switched out the arms and made them like a lighter blue to sort of match her hair and I think it looks really nice it has like the little triangles and then it has uh, the stuff on it, and I gave her black gloves, and here's the back. Also, it looks like those are, like, arrows, like, for a bow. So I thought what I'd do is i give her, uh, this. Um, I think it looks really cool. Um, but, yeah. And then for the legs, I actually used Benny's legs from the Lego movie. Um, because it kind of matched the outfit with the white and then the blue. I think it looks really cool. So, 
that is Tracy, and that is the last character from the set, but I also included another minifigure. Uh, that is not a character, he's just a person in Prime Empire. Um, and uh, he gets a spoon, uh, because there's like a little eating area on that side for his accessory. But um, for the hairpiece, I just, what I call the spiky hairpiece, and uh, in brown. Whoa, I dropped it. <laughs> and uh, he is smiling in the other face. I, I didn't really pick it. Um, I I'll just say it's like chewing. Um, like a chewing face, because he has a spoon he's eating there. Um, but, uh, for the, his torso, I used the Ninjoid uh, outfit from another Ninjago set. And I used Rex Danger Vest's legs from the Lego movie, too. I think it looks nice. It's like kind of has, as I said, like that wacky kind of colors and just outfits for this video game. Uh, they also made him his own little vehicle that he can ride. Uh, I'll show you that next. Alright, so the mini vehicle, it's like a, I guess like a hovering little vehicle, or just it can like, just on the ground. There aren't wheels, but I use these pieces on the bottom. But, uh, so starting from the top here, I actually use Unikitty's boots uh, from the Lego Movie 2, uh, in the dance party set. <laughs> and I use them as like a front, and they're attached here, so they can kind of like go up and down. But, uh, I thought it looked really nice, because it has stars on it, and like these little blue lines up here. I think they re went really well with this. And there's a little clip here holding it, and then a little blue a uh, circle transparent piece there and then also this piece is like triangle slope and then it goes to this piece where it holds these uh square uh one brick transparent red pieces uh, and there's also these ones that are tile but the same piece uh just without the studs and as you can see i use purple as the most of the colors because it has like the little uh wheel pieces there for the rim and then it also has one in the back and then also a bunch of these different slope pieces and this little piece here actually what it does, um, so you can put the minifigure inside, where is he? <laughs> I'll just use Scott. Um, so what you do is you put the minifigure and then you can just kind of like slide it in. So like they're, they're not sticking on any studs, but like they're loosely in and this piece holds them in. So it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. um, so like they probably won't fall out, um, but they're kind of wiggly in there, but you can easily just pull them out from the back. And, uh, as you can see in there, there's just like a backward slope piece. Um, and then the little piece where you put this. So I'm just going to click that back in there. One sec. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this goes on the side. Um, and I also put this piece to kind of, like, attach that piece to there on the top. So, yeah. This is the little vehicle. I really like it. It was originally going to be, like, a small pulley bag build, I guess. Um, but then I thought, why don't I put it in this? So, now we can get to the actual build. So starting from the bottom, uh, what I did actually is I made it so it's kind of like, not floating, it's just kind of like above the normal level, so you like go up some stairs, and so it's like, I kind of imagine like other buildings in the going in there, so it's like there, and then you can kind of like walk down there. So, I used a bunch of pieces on the bottom to hold it up, as you can see, uh, and I also used gray on the bottom of all of them. So they hold the platforms together, and they also like hold it up from the bottom, I used like this small build over here, onto there, um, and then some of them fall off easily, though. Like, this one is very loose, like, it could easily fall off, or this one, um, but when you're putting it down, it's not, like... So for the stairs, I just used some normal, well, blue, uh, 2 by 4 bricks, and, uh, on the circle piece, just gonna give it some more area to, like, stand on, and then it goes up onto there, and there's also, like, this little thing, I don't know what it is, like, it's just a little... Thing. I guess you can buy something from it. It has like a phone on it. And I, I don't know what it's supposed to be really. I just made it so it just goes on there on the extra piece there. And uh, going up to here, I actually use this really old like uh, piece from I think the original space sets. I think I got it from my dad. And uh, it has some really cool like uh, molding in there. Like it just has some really cool stuff. I don't know if that was Star Wars. I think it was like the Lego City space. Or is it just the space sets, but I think it looks really cool. So I used it as like the floor, and then it attaches to these other pieces on the side. And uh, in the front here, uh, there's the door, and also I used the video game piece, like the big one from the arcade pods. And I put stickers all over it, and then also I had the door. And instead of using the normal handle, I used the uh, piece from the weapon pack that came in almost every of the Prime Empire builds. And I also used some other of them around the other build. The rest of the build, sorry. And, uh, yeah, I, it's attached on a black clip there, and then on this side, there are some holes, and then it, you can kind of, like, spin this one around. Like, it's kind of, like, not a weapon store, it's just, like, a whatever store. I guess just, like, a video game store. 
But, uh, yeah, I just put this on the side to just add a little decoration. And uh, also, this can stop the door, even though the door doesn't usually go any further anyways in Lego. It's like a little stop around the side, because that piece is already there. So, I use these other stickers on the side here, like little circles, and the ninja and the master on there. And, uh, before I get inside, I'll actually just go to this side. It's like the little eating area. As I said, it has the regular sticker over here, then some two other here. And then it has, like, a little soda and, like, a soup bowl. Um, so that's why that guy has a spoon, because it's, like, a little soup bowl. And it also has these little things on top, like these little swords that go from all sides. And you can move them however you want, like this or this. And also has this little window piece from the cars, actually. I put it up top here, just kind of give it some more detail. And there's a window in there, so you can see inside the store. But yeah, it has, uh, for the soda uh, piece, it uses the regular soda can top, and then it has a see-through uh, green circle piece. Then I use this piece, whoa, <laughs> dropped it. it ha I use this little piece for the soup inside there, and uh, the per can person can hold it. And uh, I forgot, I can't find the guy with the spoon. Oh, never mind, I found him. <laughs> and this is the second time that I dropped the soup bowl. <laughs> but, uh... There's a little piece there, so sometimes it gets stuck there, so your minifigure has to kind of, like, push it out itself. I dropped it again. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you just have to do that, and then they can eat the soup. Drink the soup. Sorry. Unfortunately, there isn't much space for them to stand. Uh, I mean, you can have, like, one person, like, with one foot kind of dangling off. Or if you wanted, you could put the minifigure like this. They probably can't hold their other stuff. Like, they can't hold the bowl. And this is, like, really high <laughs> for a table. So sorry about that. And this was the original sticker that was on the arcade pod. And so is that one over here. I didn't take them off because they were fine. And I think it looks really cool. So now we are inside of the little video game store. And I put some shelves over there. And then also I have this little, like, arcade... Or not arcade, just like this little gaming chair. It has these little things on the side, and then it also has like the Hitana there, and you can pull it out from the inside there, and then the window for the food eating area, and then also this little piece just on the side. So up here, it has like a little video game controller, and that, like that little uh, rock. I think it started with a G. What is it? Geode? Ah. But, anyways, it's a really cool piece. It, it kind of, like, glitters, and it's uh, pink, and then it also has some, like, openings on the back there. I think it's a really cool piece, so I decided to put it in this. And, uh, the, uh, that's the first shelf, and then under there are these just little pieces to add decoration. And then these two things are, like, little grenades, I guess. Because <laughs> every time in, like, the Speedway 5 Billion and the Ninjago show, they ha always throw, like, these giant grenades, so. <laughs> or they could be something totally different. I don't really know. I just put them there. There's not really, like... Anything they're supposed to be, they just kind of look like that. And then I also put this extra piece from the uh, weapon pack piece uh, right on that little piece there. But you can easily take it off. It just doesn't look nice. I just thought I'd put something there. And for the Utana build, I just have like a little hole piece. And then you can just kind of slide it through there and take it out when you want. And also on the roof there, I had like these little swords on the top uh, with that little piece there. And then that one see there. So it actually works really well. And then on the very top, it has this little build. It just has, like, these slopes going up like this, and also on the back there. And it uh, has a little video game piece on there. It actually came on that part, and I took it off and put it up there. So I was like, this is a video game store. So I was originally going to put the big Prime Empire sign, but that felt a little too big. And I feel like this one works better. So that is it for episode 5 of If It Were Lego Set Season 4. I really hope you like it. Thanks for watching. And hit the like button if you think it would be a good Lego set. And also, I am posting a stop motion series right now. It's called If it, uh, sorry, it's called An Animal Adventure. So make sure to check that out. And I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.